to edit it. All right, so you can do some modified spell check within Notebook, uh, not to the same extent as you would in um, Microsoft Word, where you could just check this whole document at once. Um, you can have it check your spelling as you do it, but let's say we get some writing on here and we realize that some of these words don't look right. So I can, let's go to this word for example, if I click on it once, it just turns it into an object. If I want to look at it as text, I'm going to double click on the word. And if I highlight this word, we'll see that Notebook does highlight it to tell me that this word isn't correct. If I want to find out, okay, how should I spell because, I'm going to use the right button. Uh, function on my pen bar. So by pressing on the right button and then pressing on the word, uh, it'll show me my options. So I just need to press the button. I don't need to hold it. And then I'm going to press on my word. And here you see a couple of options um, that it's trying to help with. So I could change it to because, I could change it to because, I could ignore the spelling. Um, I can do a number of things, options that you would have seen in other programs. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to there. If you are writing a word or typing a word, it will tell you as you're going along if that word is wrong. So, you can't see my word, but D A N. If I thought danger was spelt like that, and I'm, as I'm typing it, as I'm typing it, it has recognized that it is wrong. I'm just going to make it a little larger. So, again, I can ask for help with this word. Right mouse click, press on the word, and it doesn't recognize it at all. So, I I've not even given it something close enough to figure out the word danger. I could use a dictionary, I could look in Google, I could do a number of things. Um, 